thank you for joining me today for another Sunday Stories. My name is Miss Jenna and I'm so excited to share with you this book called Over the Ocean and it is by Taro Gomi. He has written many, many books so if you enjoy this one today, definitely take a look on our catalog and see if you can find more books by him. His name is spelled T. A R O G O M I. Take a look at the cover. We see some fluffy clouds in the sky, and there's the ocean, and the waves are waving up onto the beach. And we see a child standing there. What's happening to the child's hair? Yeah, it's moving. It's blowing in the wind. This book is really great. I'm very excited that Chronicle Books has allowed me to share this story with you today. <gasps> Look, there's our title again. Can you help me read the title? Over the Ocean. Oh, look, there it is a third time. What is it? Over the ocean. And there's our ocean. Look it. I see three birds flying high up in the sky. What is over the ocean? Maybe there is more ocean over the ocean. Look at the birds are a little closer now. Can you help me count them? One, two, three. These birds look like they have really long wings. Can you stretch your arms out like really long wings? Can you fly and flap them? Yeah. I wonder if these birds are albatrosses. Albatrosses have really long wingspans. Oh, oh, there's a clue for what's gonna happen next. What is in the ocean, over the ocean? Maybe there are lots of ships. There are many ships on this page. Many different colors, doing many different jobs. They're all shaped different in different sizes. I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, that's not an ocean, is it? What does that look like? We see lots of these in Wisconsin. Some farms. Are there farms over the ocean? Maybe there are big farms. Look at, I see another bird. That's not an albatross, is it? There's a tractor and a farmer. There's some really big plants growing. They kind of look like corn. Maybe there are cities over the ocean full of tall buildings. Look at all those skyscrapers and a highway and a bridge and some antennas. They're very colorful buildings, aren't they? They're very, very tall. How tall can you reach? Stand up. Stand up on your tippy toes. How high can you reach? Or small houses. Maybe there are kids living there. Look at all of those houses. There's some with purple roofs and orange roofs and pink. What other colors do you see? 
there are lots of colors that you could name, aren't there? What color is the house where you live? Or maybe you live in an apartment. Oh, look at all those faces. Are they all friends? I bet there are probably some bullies. Look at some kids are wearing hats. Some kids have black eyes, some have blue eyes. Some have lighter skin, some have darker skin. What color is your hair? Is your hair brown like this kid? Or black? Or hidden under a hat? My hair is blonde and brown and gray, all mixed together. This child has lots of really good questions, don't they? They're really thinking about what is over this ocean. Are there fairs over the ocean? Are there fun rides? Oh my goodness, I see a slide and something that looks like a Ferris wheel. Oh, some kids are hang gliding. Oh, those are some interesting horse rides. Have you ever been to a fair or have ridden on rides? What kinds of animals are over the ocean? Are there some I've never seen? What animals can you name? Can you find an animal that has a long trunk? Point to it. Yeah, an elephant with a long trunk. Can you find an animal that is flying? It has a yellow beak. Yeah, right there. Can you find an animal that has two long horns coming out of the top of his head? Right by my head. Yeah. There's a crocodile and a chimpanzee and a lion and a squiggly snake. Oh, and an anteater with a long tongue. Oh, so many animals. Is there night over the ocean? Are there so many beautiful stars? Oh, and look at somebody's even sleeping under the stars. It's fun to stay up a little late and go look at the stars. See if you can count them or see if you can find any pictures in the stars. Is there a country made of ice? A cold, freezing country. Look at all those icebergs and cliffs of ice. And look at that. Who is standing on top of that ice? A waddling little penguin. Is there a beach over the ocean like mine? Is someone walking on it? Can you see? Is someone standing, looking over the ocean, just like I am doing now? Their beach looks a little different, doesn't it? This beach is more black sand. But this beach, the sand is a little more brown, isn't it? So just like people and animals, even beaches look different. I wish I could go and see. Look at there's another child in a hot air balloon. What is something that you wish you could see in the world? Would you want to see another beach way across the ocean? Or maybe you would like to see an elephant in Africa. Or explore different fairs in other parts of the world.
there are so many, so many great things in our world. And I love this book because it really helps us think about what else is out there and all of the adventures that await us. Speaking of adventures, I want to be sure to remind you that our summer learning challenge has started and we have a couple different options on how you can participate. One way you can participate is go to our website and sign up online through an app called Bean Stack. All of the information is on our website. I've posted a link with this video and you can sign up your whole family ages zero all the way up to adult. If you don't have access or would prefer not to keep track of the activities and the reading online, we have printable copies available on our website. So if you have a printer at home, you can print off copies for our pre-readers. So any kid that's not quite reading on their own yet, age of birth through five or six, four, we let you guys decide what works best for your family. And then also printable sheets for independent readers. So five, six through age 12. And as soon as you pick up a paper copy or you register online, each kid ages birth through 12 can come onto the library and pick out a free book to keep as well. Other ways to earn prizes are doing fun activities. So on the sheet, there's a lot of writing, I understand, but on the sheet there are different badges that kids can earn. So there's online badges and in each little section you do a certain number of activities and you cross them off as you do them. And when you do those activities, you also can come in and choose a prize of your choice. We have grab bags that are full of all sorts of fun stuff, art supplies and stickers and those rub on tattoos, all sorts of random stuff in those grab and go bags too. Or there's food coupons or books as well. We have so many books to give away. We want to make sure that we get free books into the hands of all these wonderful kids in the Chippewa Falls area. So some of the really exciting uh, badge themes in the Summer Learning Challenge include Outdoor Action Challenge. So in there you can go on a walk or a bike ride. You can read a nonfiction book about your child's favorite animal. Read together outside. Go play at Irvine Park. Another fun one is water play and learning. So visit a, a splash pad or a pool or play in the sprinkler. You can paint on the sidewalk or the deck with water. Or you can practice pouring water in different sized containers. So many, many ways to earn prizes that way. Another way for readers and kids to earn prizes is by reading. Our littlest kids, you can read books together as a family, and after you read so many books, you get a free book that you can keep. And online books count, audiobooks count, the book that I just read counts. If you've already signed up, count this book too. If you haven't signed up, you can count anything else that I read or if you rewatch this video. If you have any questions about our summer learning challenge, give us a call or send us an email or visit our website and we will definitely get back to you and help you out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care.